Hi, I'm Sean. I'm doing a quick OBS microphone into Zoom tutorial. I had been using some of the Zoom tutorials that were um, available on YouTube. They weren't really working for me. Um, so I just figured I would do a quick PowerPoint with the settings that I'm using and hopefully they will work for you as well. I'm gonna make a few assumptions that you A, know how to use OBS, more or less, B, that you know how to use Zoom. Um, I'm also not going to do a tutorial on how to install the VB virtual audio cables. Um, there are a lot of good tutorials out there on how to do that. Um, but that is really the first step. You need to do that and install them. Um, but here are the settings that I've used that have worked for me and the fact that I'm using an Audient ID4 audio interface for my dynamic microphone. First thing we're gonna do is open our control panel and select hardware and sound. What we really have to do is set our default devices for input. Click sound. In sound, there are two tabs that we're going to use. The first one that we're going to set is playback. Um, I used uh, virtual cable A input. Um, set that to your default communications device. Next, we're gonna click on recording. And again, uh, click on your virtual cable. If you've downloaded more than one cable, um, you just use whatever letter you wanna use, but make sure that you are consistent all the way through all of the settings here and in OBS. Next, we're gonna open OBS. Um, we're gonna make sure that we've added all of our inputs on the left uh, for whatever scenes that we're using. Again, I'm making the assumption that you know how to do all of this. First thing we're gonna do is set our audio settings. We click on file, settings, under settings, we're gonna click on audio. We're gonna look about three quarters of the way down. We're gonna hit uh, the monitoring device and select your whatever virtual cable you're using. Then we're gonna to go to edit, advanced audio properties. We're gonna look for our virtual audio cable on the left. And then on the right, we're gonna find audio monitoring. And then we're gonna select monitor and output. If we do not select monitor and output, we will not have any output going from OBS into Zoom. The next thing we have to do is select the properties for our input mic device. I think this is probably the one step that was most overlooked in all of the, um, the tutorials that I had seen on YouTube. Either I missed it or they just weren't singling out what I needed for having an audio interface. So when you right click on your VB audio cable as your microphone, you will select properties. And then in the device properties, you're gonna select whatever audio interface you're using. I believe that if you have a USB microphone only, if you select that microphone, it should work the same way as my audio interface. I'm using an Audient ID4. Next, we're gonna select um, an audio output. If you haven't added one to your scene already, um, do that. We're gonna right click on that as well and select some properties for that. That is also going to be whatever virtual audio cable that you were using. Now we're gonna try and do the settings in Zoom. Open it up, start a new meeting, uh, meeting excuse me, and then select your audio settings. First, we're gonna pick our microphone and we're gonna select the same as system. I have tried using the cable, the virtual audio cable as my settings. It worked the first time. When I closed Zoom and reopened it again, I was not able to get the sound. Um, that's why I selected the default devices in the beginning. And when you select the same as system, it has been working for me consistently. Same thing with the same as system for your speakers. Now we're gonna test our microphone. You will hear your microphone if it's working correctly. If you wanna double check that it's definitely coming through from OBS, go back to your OBS mixer, reduce the volume on your VB audio input device. If you still get a signal, it means that you're not coming from OBS. If you do not get a signal, you have got it all correct. One thing I do wanna make a note of is that your speaker system defaults to whatever the virtual cable is. I was not able to hear anything at first, even though everything was working correctly. I went to my Windows settings, uh, selecting my what my output device is for my select playback. Um, I had to change from cable A uh, to the speakers, my output coming from my uh, actual the, the Logitech speakers that I have here. Um, if you do if you do not do that, you may not hear, even though everything is working correctly. 
All right. You can go back to your OBS. This is what it will look like if everything is working correctly. Um, your output and your input on the audio mixer and OBS. And of course, the little microphone on Zoom. Everything is lining up beautifully. And this is the end. And I hope you got it all worked out. If this worked out for you, please like and shout out in the comments. Um, if this didn't work, please let me know what's happening and I can improve the tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. Happy creating. <laughs>